What's up guys, it's your boys Awoki back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from the man, the myth, the legend that pretty much put scary compilations on the map, Nukes Top 5. We're about to watch his newest video of 10 scary videos to go full screen of terror. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, your extra pair of pants, and let's get into the video. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. We're coming up to 60,000 subscribers. We're trying to get to 100K, but I need your guys' help. Also, make sure you guys check out the link in the description if you guys have not already seen nukes type five you are missing out on the one of the best scary content channels out there so go give them some love hit the uh subscribe button like comment subscribe all that you guys get the deal and with that being said let's get into some scary videos that need to be full screen let's take a look ah it's like music to my ears hidden away in the countryside of Chillicothe, ohio is the schrader road tunnel Oh. Built underneath a set of railroad tracks in 1927, the old road tunnel is said to be extremely haunted. The story goes that long ago, a woman was carrying her baby while walking along the train tracks late at night. Why would you be doing the that? two were hit by an oncoming train. It is said that her ghost and the ghost of her baby haunt the Schrader Road Tunnel. Many people who have traveled through the tunnel report that they have seen the ghostly figure of a woman holding her baby. Others report hearing odd, unexplained wails and moans. Because of this, locals started referring to the Schrader Tunnel by a very different and much creepier name, the Crybaby Tunnel. So, Levi Woodruff is intrigued by the spooky stories and sets out to explore the oh Crybaby boy. Tunnel late one night. As you might imagine, it did not go well. I bet it didn't. So I've been down in here in a place called Crybaby's Tunnel. It's a, a place, it's local around my area. And they say she got hit on the tracks with her baby or, um, or her body was dumped right there in the creek, creek down here. There's something dead right there. Bro, there's something dead a, right there. A deer. A dead deer. It's a dead deer. Okay, that's what I thought. I've been here forever trying to get stuff done. Please don't pop out. This place is spooky. Is anybody out there? That is the creepiest. Hey, oh, hey, 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 no. Hell no. My dude is smart. Hell no. In the pitch black darkness <laughs> of the tunnel with nothing but a flashlight, Levi suddenly hears the disturbing cries of a baby. Familiar with the spooky stories about the tunnel, Levi makes a run for it. I probably so would have done these the same. cries belong to the spirit of the baby that tragically passed away at the creepy old railroad tunnel? And is the ghost of the baby's mother also inside, just waiting for someone to come in? I got chills. Oh, hell no. <laughs> My dude is smart. Hell like I said before, no. he is smart for the running. House of Light and Shadows. Oh, boy. TikTok creator Anthony Yamada has dedicated his TikTok page to making videos about life in Japan and the available. I so want to go to Japan only because the beautiful scenery and the culture that they have there. But again, they're scary ghosts, the Juans, 
um, the grudges and stuff like that. I can't handle it. But hopefully one day, fingers crossed, that I will get to um, go to Japan and spend a, a few nights there. I just would love to see and uh, just feel what it is to be in Japan. I don't know. I just always been. It's also with me being in Ireland. I want to be a doc. I want to go to Ireland and witness that. I know we're getting off topic, but I'm just I'm just saying. Homes and real estate there. In one of his videos, Anthony is giving a tour through an affordable four bedroom home in Fukuoka City, Japan. When this happens, here's what seven hundred and sixty dollars gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. That's what would get me in Japan. I pay a thousand dollars for my mortgage now. Seven hundred and sixty. That's what gets me in. J I'm moving to Japan. <laughs> now today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami oh, room. This house will run you a monthly rent of Junimon N. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket, electronic store, and convenience stores. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, Anthony didn't. Gosh. But soon after he enters, a shadow can be seen moving around and standing behind a translucent Japanese style wall. Oh, gosh. But when Anthony looks behind the wall, Nothing. there's no one there. But Anthony didn't notice any of this oh, until gosh. shock viewers quickly fl- It looks like it flew in. Did you see the shadow it made? In the comment section, wondering if the reasonable price of only 760 a month for a four bedroom home in a large popular city has anything to do with that. See, look, do you see the shadow? Look, when it comes in, watch it fly in. Your city has anything to do with that. Like it literally flew in. Some viewers even jokingly ask if the ghost is included with the house. Uh. Now, is this a Japanese ghost or not? And would you pay 760 a month to live with one? I would pay $260 to be there, not with a ghost. I'll leave that up to you I'm to decide. Not, I'm not staying with the Reaper. ghost. TikTok user nope. Jess is a certified nursing assistant. One night. If you paid me a million dollars to live there, I would not do it. Well, depends on if the ghost is friendly or not. And not Casper friendly, but just okay. She's working the late shift in the psychiatric unit at an old and allegedly haunted children's hospital. Hell no. She spots something that sends a chill down her spine. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. I hate hospitals. I don't know about you. What is that what in is the that? mirror? Because it is not Shared videos about her life I'm and experiences for stuff like that. working as a certified nursing assistant. So could this be a reaper caught on camera? What do you guys think it is? You decide. The reaper? Down below. Come below. Crafter Moore Johnson from Huntington Beach, California is packing for a trip to sell her handmade goods at a Las Vegas trade show. Ah. Suddenly, she and her business partner hear something downright creepy coming from somewhere just below their feet. What? We're trying to deal with this. I have had not enough coffee to deal with this. Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Somebody's okay. having a party down there. Uh, a swamp thing? Storage. Could it be like gas pipes or something like that that are just blowing and making noises? I don't know. I'm just throwing something out there. Where is that? Who is that? What the f is going on in here? I just could imagine seeing two ladies looking down at a sewer. She's coming. She's probably calling them to come here. Mara and her business partner hear creepy sounds and what can only be described as singing coming from the sewer drain. The time of this recording is at 5.45 in the morning, so it makes no sense that anyone would be down in the sewer that early, much less singing. Now, Mara is in no way claiming that she captured anything otherworldly. In fact, none that. of her videos on her TikTok page have anything to do with the paranormal at all. So Mara simply posted this one creepy, unexplained moment that she experienced. So, just what is this? And who or what is- You know what it sounds like? is one of those, like, tube things, whatever, that you would spin around and go- 
That's probably not how it sounds, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Down in the sewer singing at 5.45 in the morning. 5.45 in the morning. For now, this eerie capture remains unexplained. Tell the possessed go, to, go back to bed. We need scary videos. So if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. A room with a view. Ever since they moved into their new apartment, Joey Chalutney and his family have been experiencing strange, unexplained activity. Their uh -oh. furniture and belongings seem to inexplicably move on their own. Their infant son's toys turn on and off at random. And they I purposely did not buy these kind of toys for my son just because of how creepy they are. So I purposely found toys that gave him engagement and like things with his fingers and stuff like that, but did not sound off like this often hear the sound of doors and cabinets opening and closing on their own. So on this particular day, Joey suddenly hears something very odd coming from his son's bedroom. He is determined to capture evidence of the supernatural activity in the apartment. So he takes out his phone and begins to record. What he captures is truly chilling. What'd you find? So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening. Um, in our son's room. So I wasn't gonna record, but I, I actually I came here to feed the cats. We have two cats. So I came over to feed them and I, I noticed that in his room, my son's room back here, there's one of my cats. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about all the cats sitting. I can hear his toy being played. And it was not on before. It is playing right now. And I don't know why it's playing right now. Um, I didn't leave it on, but even if I did leave it on, like I'll turn it off. Even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and then it go. And I'm it guessing was, that's because the kids have to like hit their feet on it, right? It's not on and it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I've like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, fake plants knocked over. There's books on the ground. The wipes are on the floor. I don't know what Time is going on. to put a camera on. in there. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? Am I insane? Am I insane? I saw a shadow. I someone just walked by the window. And I will, I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. This is the door you're just looking at. This door is locked. There's nothing out here. And nobody can get out nothing there. Nothing out here. And he's on second floor. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that door. I've had it's a always been locked. I've had a pu uh, Just the weirdest things are happening. An apartment like that. Things are happening. An electronic toy turns on by itself. And as Joey looks around the room, a strange shadow can be seen passing by the balcony Very window. subtle. Joey shows that there's no one outside and that there's nowhere for anyone to hide. In fact, this window is on an enclosed balcony 12 feet off the ground. It would basically be impossible for anyone to climb up, walk by this window, and then just disappear by the time Joey rushed outside. Later that evening, Joey receives a motion notification from the nanny cam in his son's room. He checks the feed and is shocked by what he finds. If you look really closely, the rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. Oh, you see something. You can see it's very slight. It's very slight. But you can see the shadow kind of moving. It's rocking. On its own. There's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. There goes the wipes. The wipes fly off the dresser. And then that the hamper. The baby's hamper falls over. Like, what is going on? No one's there. What is happening? A rocking chair sitting in the corner of his son's bedroom begins to rock back and forth by itself, almost as if someone is sitting in it. Then some baby wipes fly off the dresser and a hamper falls over onto the floor. Did anybody pass there? Joey says that the family has already made plans to move to another apartment. Yeah. And until then, they will be staying at his mother's house. It might follow them. Scary videos. Jason Barber from Salisbury, North Carolina comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. What? There's a snake on the door? 
I am so glad I'm where uh, where I live is the air hurts my face. Hell no. The snake's trying to tell me not to go in my own home. A big angry snake is hiding around the edges of Jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him. Luckily for Jason, the bite was a miss, and the snake is actually a non-poisonous black rat okay, snake. Look at, it, look at its eyes. But something to be learned from this. If you walk up and your cat is just... The cat is just a... I ain't going over there. I'll just let him do it. Staring at the door and meowing for no reason. Maybe take a closer look before you just your head in. Your cat was like, I told you! <laughs> I told you there was something. In another clip, a man and woman have a similar scary encounter. I don't care about snakes. I I enjoy snakes. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to uh, one that's trying to bite me or whatever, I'm gonna slap the snake. Hunter. What? Is there another snake? The couple pulls out an old step stool and is shocked to find a large snake hiding under a box right in front of it. <laughs> the puppy they make a run for it with their puppy <laughs> following close behind. But the puppy is not gonna <laughs> let the snake have his toy. So he just runs back in and yoinks it away. Snake or not, nothing is getting his favorite toy. <laughs> I don't Game mean changer. to laugh at that one. Nuke's top five viewer, Ugh. Christopher Duncan, emailed us some creepy CCTV footage captured at a small church in rural Mississippi. The CCTV camera is recording the playroom of the church's, quote, youth group, oh, when boy. something happens that no one at the church can explain. <laughs> it's technically... <laughs> See, it's I... Watch, watch, John, are you watching the same? Yeah. It's, it's not... No, oh. in there. Oh, no. Watch, watch, Why? watch. Oh, watch on, watch. Better, so bad. Nobody listens to me. There's ghosts in here. Nobody listens to me. Watch it. He's all excited because he's got proof. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's still moving. It's still moving, y'all. It's still moving. It's still moving. Oh it's still moving. <laughs> and those are not easy to break. <laughs> So good. A pool stick on the floor of the church playroom can be seen rolling around, shaking, and vibrating all on its own before it just snaps right in half. Chris says that the kids in the room were so busy and loud that no they didn't knew. even notice the creepy event. But after playtime, church officials found the broken pool stick on the floor and went back to check the CCTV footage to find out just who did it. They were pretty shocked. They're like, okay, who broke it? Who's paying for it? That's coming out of the church's money. And they look at it, they're like, oh, it, it was a ghost. Let's not tell anybody. To see that the pool <laughs> stick seemed to just break on its own. Chris says the church is known to be haunted and that there have been many other incidents of paranormal activity over the last 20 years. Oh so boy. Could this be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? And why at a church? Let it's... me know what you think. Because if you think about it, if they have a lot of funerals, couldn't that be part of it? I'm just throwing that out there. Strange noises from the toilet. This next video was posted to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit, and I really appreciate all my subreddit followers, so I'm just going to repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Ready user Minato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. <laughs> so user Minato is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs. But never mind that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um, dropping the kids off at the pool. I think the dog hears it. Hello? A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Well, the only thing I can think of is these cameras do have the uh, capability of sending voice talk through them, but... Uh... Hello? 
He sounds confused. Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Even creepier, Dustin's two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room, almost as if they can see something that we can't. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? And just how many bongs does one fellow need? Dustin, uh, you can answer these questions and more down in the comments. Hello, Dustin. Hello? Melville so Cemetery. A new stop by viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream from the allegedly haunted Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Oh, okay. Wishy says that his friend Brian went out to broadcast a Do not touch the Ouija boards. It's just going to cause you problems. Ouija board session live from the Melville Cemetery oh, while gosh. his friends watched and talked to him on Discord. Now, the Melville Cemetery is located on Sweet Hollow Road, a road man. that has many tragic and ghostly legends attached to it. One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. Oh. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background, and he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of the Melville Cemetery. This man is crazy. Things start to go wrong, and what happens next is truly terrifying. I told you. Don't mess with that crap. Yo, that's moving. Yo, oh my god, what called? Why is it going to no? It said no? It said no. Be like, yo, yo, the camera's moving. Yo, bro, the camera's moving. The camera's moving. Bro, I'm leaving, bro. He didn't yo, say goodbye. Was it you that moved the camera? <laughs> Bro, no, he's on. doing everything wrong with the Ouija board. Yo! Either my man doesn't know how to put a camera Yo. on a tripod, or that ghost is deciding to move everything. Freaked out, but he manages to stay calm, reposition his camera, and continue his live stream. Are there any spirits here that would like to talk to me? Oh, I didn't even ask it. His keys are right there. Stop taking your fingers off the board. That's insane, dude. Was that you that just turned on the alarm? I hate when they do it by themselves because people are gonna say that it, it's him. Yes. His keys are right there. King, bro. Where the f are the Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye using the Ouija board. You see, in the paranormal community, not signing off by saying goodbye at the end of a session is considered to be a horrible mistake and is said to invite the contacted spirit to remain attached to the Ouija board user. So Brian goes back, and this is when she goes sideways. Oh, gosh. I took the lights and everything. <sighs> Bro. Oh my f***ing God, bro. It goes into the cemetery. Bro, the board went in. Get the phone, get your phone. 
Oh he needs it. to grab it! It's gonna be s- Oh, he's done for. Yo, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Get the out. Well, it's nice knowing you, my dude. The board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate, right into Melville Cemetery. That's why you don't touch them. Brian starts to leave. But after everything that has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye after using the Ouija board. So Brian goes back again. Oh, have he mercy. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. I'm jumping the fence, bro. Watch, it's gone. I'm jumping the fence. Bro. Bro, Chris. Chris, look at the stream. Oh my God, bro. There's a big fire in there. There's a fire? There's a fire. Get out of here, run. Run, Yo, get out of there. I'm not gonna get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, what is burning though? Is it the a board? Can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. Even though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to say goodbye. Yeah. It's in, you didn't see it? No. Oh, you had to be no, no, I, I wasn't on my phone. I was looking at. Oh, oh, I just don't want those fancy poke things to hit my bo my bottom. Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. This man is crazy. Bro, it's literally graves. He can't find it, can he? No, it's not. Bro, I see it. Don't I tell me it. it's what was burning. Get out of no, here. It's the, board. it's the board. It's the board and the planchette. It's the board. No, with the planchette. No, it's going up. It's going up. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not touching it. Can you say goodbye still? I doubt it. So do I just say goodbye? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Goodbye. Say goodbye, just say goodbye. Drag it, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board. And he just gets out of there. But is it real? Or is it all just a very elaborate live stream hoax? If it's a hoax, it was I a very well done hoax. To decide. It got me. You can see even more of this scary it's live Ouija board session over on the YouTube channel. I'm Wishy. I'm gonna go watch it. Drawn out. Tattoo artist Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take a very disturbing turn. Tattoo um, per oh, like the this woman's yeah, house. Forgot she's a tattoo artist. She's had some weird stuff happen in her house. Yeah, <laughs> She's like, I'm just here for a tattoo. I'm not here to be possessed. What do you mean? It's that chair. That chair over there has the three sixes on it. The table with Liz's tattoo supplies suddenly rolls away from her all by itself. Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out, but try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby, and the two have had about enough. They get up and just make a run for it. Tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day, but she believes that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, oh. Facebook, and even TikTok. I want Thanks more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So with that being said, guys, that was uh, the newest one of Nukes Top 5. Hopefully it doesn't take another month to get another Nukes Top 5. But if you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure you guys hit the like button down below. Don't forget...
or don't forget to hit subscribe and like and comment over on Nukes Top 5. This man, I think, is close to 5.5 million. He's getting there. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Please take care, be safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we will see you guys in the next video.